We have the same taste, though. Yeah, we do. You're much more sophisticated than I'm. You're a foodie, and I'm an eatie. <laughs> is that a new phrase? Mm-hmm. I'm an eatie. Do you have a food dislike? Like, is there something that you will not eat? Capers. I hate them so much. <laughs> I hope we're not having any capers tonight anywhere. No, no capers I anywhere. I hate capers. Dream last meal. Spaghetti and meatballs with some grated mozzarella on top. It's a meatball theme today. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna show me how to make some fantastic veggie meatballs? Vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, isn't it funny how vegetarian isn't enough now? Everything has to be without gluten and without, these are with gluten. Everything has to be. Forget it! <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make cauliflower eggplant meatballs. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna peel and slice our eggplant. You're gonna do your thing with the red pepper. Can I help you with your cauliflower? Let's do the garlic. Just smashed. Ready? Olive oil. How about putting those red pepper flakes on there? So toss this, mm. and then we're gonna roast this for about 45 minutes. Like seven times. So it's a little bit chunky, not super smooth. That's enough. So let's put this in the bowl. So here's our finished farro. We're gonna put it into our pureed veggie mix. We're gonna do our breadcrumbs, parmesan. I make two inch balls. We'll bake them one inch apart, so they get a nice crust around them. Mm. Lovely. Look at them. They're so beautiful. You can use any sauce, your favorite marinara sauce. I'm very impressed. Thank I you. normally loathe veggie meatballs. Me too. These are other level amazing. Thank you so much. I'm gonna make turkey Moroccan meatballs that is going to be gluten free. Half an onion, some olive oil. Let's mince up a little garlic. Flat leaf parsley, some cilantro, and some mint. I'm gonna add some cinnamon and cumin. Add an egg. And then I'm going to add onion mixture to the balls. So I'm gonna mix in my turkey mixture. We're gonna make some balls. Oh, they smell so good. So now for the Moroccan pomodoro. <laughs> we'll take some rosemary, cinnamon, and just let it get fragrant for a minute. And then your beautiful can of tomatoes. And then, yum, the balls go back into the sauce. Cover, cook, enjoy. Those are so gorgeous. Get some garnish on there. Just a little garnish. Simple, easy. Mm. Unexpected flavor. The cinnamon, hello. Mm. <clears throat> it's hot, holy guac. I gotta get out of here.